There's a little baby alligator right here. He's so cute. just caught this baby Cuban tree frog. They got these bright yellow stripes on their sides and look way different from the adults. He was just chilling in here so there you go little buddy. So I showed off a white peacock butterfly. This is the caterpillar. They're covered in little harmless bendy spines. Got some red spots on them when they're mostly black. There's a whole bunch of them right in here. And right there is a chrysalis of the white peacock. So I'm guessing these uh, caterpillars can't really escape this little bowl that they're in. So they have to pupate inside of here. That's kind of cool. It took me like two plus years that I finally caught a southeastern five-lined skink. Beautiful lizard. This one's not an adult yet as it still has a bright blue tail, which they can drop if a predator tries to catch them. They'll actually wiggle it in front of a, a predator, so they go after that specifically. Very happy to have finally caught this species. He's cute and didn't bite me. This took so long to do. This is a very common lizard, by the way. I'm just really bad at catching them, but I finally did it. All right, time to let this lizard go. Come on, it's okay, buddy, you can go. Come on. You just wanna be friends now? No, oh, I, I gotta go, I have to go home. You, you can't stay with me, dude, you need to go. Come on, it's okay. Here you go. This is a really pretty looking passion flower. And right above it is that pretty creepy spider. I just found a really big gopher tortoise. 
Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I don't know if you guys can hear him inhaling and exhaling. I just got this little brown and all. Not a baby. They actually start off a lot smaller. This is a non-native species of lizard, but there's no point in removing them. They're by far the most common reptile and probably the most common animal in the state of Florida. So, oh, he's on my shirt. There's a Pinewoods litter snake right here. Oh, there you are. Hey. I don't want you to go under a car. Cool. It's actually a pretty decent size. All right, well, let's move you somewhere where you won't get squished. Two different frogs here. We got a little greenhouse frog and a small southern toad. Just to give you an idea how tiny the greenhouse frog is. Here's my finger. And now he's gone. <laughs> Check out this big girl. She's giving me a funny wink. This is our 1,000th Cuban tree frog removed from this year. And it's a pretty big one. Looks kind of awkward because of the position I'm holding the leg, but. It's fine. So we're gonna go bag this one up and uh, keep going. But I'm gonna get this very large girl out of here. I just found a really big brown snake in our yard. This is about as big as they get, so not huge. Pretty colors. Could be a pregnant female. It looks pretty swollen towards the back. So we're gonna let her go somewhere safe where she can either digest a long meal or lay her eggs. This one's pretty comfortable with being filmed, which is nice. They usually just flee. So I'm going to just let her go over here and uh, hopefully she'll be safe. Well, this is a weird find. I found a toad a couple weeks ago that was missing a leg. This one's missing most of its leg and I can't tell if it was taken off by a predator or if it just didn't grow right. Sorry buddy but uh looks like he's doing fine so go back to doing toad stuff. I just found this big litter snake. Hi buddy. Oh you're scared of the camera? Anyway, I've already shown off one of these guys earlier, but it's a pretty cool looking snake. Nice coloration. Just let you go right here. <laughs> 